Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Cloud. If you are new or not yet subscribe, please subscribe to the channel to do not miss any video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about RDP, which is Remote Desktop Protocol. So let's first understand what is RDP. RDP is a proprietary protocol developed by Microsoft that enables users to connect and control a remote computer or virtual machine over a network connection. It is widely used for remote administration, also for technical support and accessing the virtual desktop. RDP allows a user to interact with the desktop applications on files of a remote system as if they were physically present at the location like that. Let's now understand some key feature of the remote desktop protocol. So at first we get the feature of desktop sharing like RDP allow the sharing of desktop interface of a remote computer and provide a full control over its graphical user interface. Next file sharing. So user can transfer files between the local and remote computers during a RDP session. Then audio redirection. So when we access RDP into that, this RDP support the redirection of audio from the remote computer to the local machine. So we can get the remote computers audio in our local machine as well that enables user to hear sound generated on the remote system. Next we have the network label authentication NLA. RDP includes security feature like NLA to enhance the authentication process and protect against unauthorized access. Let's now see some key aspect or the key benefit of remote desktop like the remote desktop include access from anywhere. So the benefit of it that user can connect to their work computer or server from virtually anywhere with an internet connection, providing flexibility and convenience to the users. Remote administration. So IT administrator can use remote desktop access to manage and troubleshoot computers or servers in different location without the need for physically presence in front of the desk. Remote support. So technical support personnel can assist user by remoting accessing their computer to diagnose and resolve problems. Then virtual desktop. So remote desktop technology is often used in virtual desktop infrastructure which is called VDI where users access virtualized desktop environment hosted on servers rather than physical computers. Then collaboration. So remote desktop access facilitate a collaboration by allowing multiple users to work on the same system simultaneously or share information across different locations. So that means one computer or one server can be used by the multiple user at the same time. Now let's understand how does the RDP work. So when we start to initiating a RDP, so first we have to initiate a connection with the remote desktop. So the user will open a RDP client and then their local computer. The RDP client initiate a connection to the remote computer using the IP address or host name. Then it go for the authentication. So user will be prompted for the login credential like username and password. And it can also present the NLA, which is the optional for some of the companies. They keep it secure. Once authentication is completed with the username and password, then it will establish a connection. So it will establish a connection there we will get a certificate authentication and once the certificate authentication completed then we can have like desktop sharing we can user can interact with the rdp user can start transferring the data from the local machine to rdp user can display and input the redirection like the graphical data or it can minimize the latency also user can now see the audio and print so user can hear the audio, you can user can transfer the audio and user can also do the print from the RDP machine and the moreover it provide a secure connection. So the moment you logged in on a RDP machine, the RDP uses encryption to secure the communication between the local and remote computers, protecting sensitive data during the remote desktop session. So your data from local machine to the RDP machine will be encrypted. That's how this RDP works. Let's now understand how to connect a RDP com computer. So we can start in Windows machine like we can go to search tab and type RDP or remote desktop 
or we can use windows plus r and then there we can type ms mstsc or even we can open a command prompt and from there we can type mstsc and we can get the rdp connection prompt now once we have the rdp connection prompt we need to enter the ip or fqdn which is fully qualified domain name or we can simply say host name in the computer tab then put the login credential and click on the connect as soon as we click on the connect a certificate authentication will prompt to click so we need to click on yes button the moment we click on the yes button it may take few second and so you can connect to the remote desktop or the remote desktop will be prompted to the screen we can even change the other setting like display local resources experience and advance in the remote desktop prompt we can also use the rdp in mac machines like we can connect rdp in macbook also for which we can go to in the mac app store launch and then from there we can launch a app and grant the necessary permission which is required then after we can click on add a pc button then enter the pc name or the ip address whatever you have if you have typed the pc name you need to enter the fully qualified domain name in case of an individual pc add dot local to the end of the name like on the screen you can see winpc dot local for user account choose whether to keep the option set to ask when required or when your username and password at this point so this point you can you don't have to enter them each time so it will be just one at a time and then click on the finish add the moment we click on the add button we will get be we will get a prompt of the rdp computer so this is how we can connect a rdp in the windows and the mac book also and this is all about the rdp i hope this video is helpful for you please do like comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you in the next video